likes breakfast. Okay, that's everybody. Great. Today, we're going to be making a breakfast recipe. We're going to be making a grain-free crepe, savory style. So we're going to put some scrambled eggs, some ground pork in there, a little bit of salsa on the top. Um, you can see we've laid out all of our ingredients today. It's going to take four egg whites to make a couple of the crepes that we're making. We've got our unsweetened soy milk. We've got some baking soda, which the recipe, you can also use baking powder, but to keep it grain-free, baking powder normally has corn in it. So we're going to be doing a mixture of baking soda and lemon juice to substitute for the baking soda, excuse me, for the baking powder. A little bit of salsa for the top, and then our coconut flour as part of the base too. And then we've got our ground pork to go on the inside with some more egg whites that we're going to scramble up. We're also going to put a whole egg in there as well. We'll get the nutrition and everything for you, but let's uh, get going. In the bowl, whisking it together, and then letting it sit for 10 minutes so that the coconut flour can absorb some of the moisture. So I've already got one egg white going in the bowl, just separating them nice and easy, crack it in half, kind of toss it back and forth so that we're getting all of the white, but hopefully not too much, if any, of the yolk. Got two down, two to go. As you can hear, my kitties are quite fans of egg yolks. So we're actually, and they know based on the sound of my cracking that egg, it means a little snack. We'll give the other one one too, so she doesn't get jealous. Let's get all the whites into our bowl. And then, yeah. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Then, so we've got our four egg whites in the bowl. We're going to put our three tablespoons of milk. One. two servings of our baking soda and our lemon juice. We actually need one sixteenth of a teaspoon. So I've just got our little quarter teaspoon thing here, but we're not even going to put that much. We're putting just a tiny little bit to help us. So just a little bit. And then we need just a tiny little bit. If you were making the whole serving, um, you'd need more. I think the original recipe was making eight crepes instead of two. So it would have been a half teaspoon, but we're just making breakfast this morning. So just need a little, little bit. Okay. And then lastly, we need our baking, so or excuse me, our coconut flour. And all we need is two tablespoons. I'm going to dry this off here. All right. And... Nice level tablespoon. One. And done. And we'll whisk it all together. So this is our base. We'll cook it just in a few minutes once some of that liquid is absorbed. It should still be more liquidy than pancake batter. We're looking for it to be like crepe batter. So nice and runny so that the pancake, the crepe, becomes nice and thin when we cook it on the pan. While it's soaking up the liquid, we're going to heat our pan on a medium heat. Get it ready for this. With Make sure you have some spray oil that you're going to put down. Ideally maybe some peanut or safflower coconut oil on the pan so that this guy doesn't stick. We're going to start cooking our ground pork. We're just putting an ounce in each serving. So this is two ounces of ground pork. We actually got this from a farm. So nice organic ground pork. We'll get that cooking and then we're going to add our egg whites to it. So we've got our oiled pan and our crepe mixture. We're going to put, it's just under a cup, so we're going to go just under that half cup to put half of it into our pan today. Yet. Okay. 
fit. And then I'm going to let it get nice and thin. And we'll wait for those edges to start turning a nice golden brown, and then we'll give it a flip. Ground pork is fully cooked. We've separated our four egg whites, and we're just going to scramble them together today. We'll scramble them up until they're nice and cooked. When our crepe is done, we'll go ahead and set it in the middle. All right, it takes just about a minute for it to set. Now we're going to flip it, make sure we're nice and off the pan. Wish me luck. One, two, three. Nice. Not, not too shabby. We'll let the other side cook and we'll be good to go. Then we're doing the crepes, our scrambled egg whites with pork. We're also wanting one whole egg in here. So we'll cook that up here. Get those going. I know I like my eggs over easy, but you can cook these however you'd like. All right, we'll come back to those when they're ready to flip. All right, we've flipped our eggs. They're just about done. And then we'll just compile everything together. Our finished product, we've got our nice grain-free crepe, our pork scrambled with our egg whites, topped with our egg, our salsa, and then I put a little hot sauce on there too, just to make it a little tastier. Enjoy.